Hi, it's Ashley from Twinkle here, and today I'm looking at vocabulary for the subject of maths. We have a broad range of signage with beautiful graphics and background, which fit with many areas of maths across the curriculum. The first thing I think of with these resources is where they can be presented and how they can be used. Firstly, I would position them somewhere with a lot of footfall in the house or the classroom. If it's in school, it's most probably on the maths working wall where children are aware that's their go-to place when they require something before asking a friend or adult. Another place might be on their table stations in the centre of their table. It's often handy to have a booklet or a stand with different laminated vocabulary cards. That way no one's out of their chair and it's easily to hand. I would not be adverse to using the covers of books as well, notably their maths book or homework book, so the vocabulary can be used at home. The more we can encourage conversation between adult or child, the more we promote healthy discussion around our home learning, then the more positive the experience will be for both adult and child. So, inside the cover of a homework book or file, there's something immediately to refer to to question one's understanding. How to use these resources. To be able to explain why why an operation such as addition, subtraction, multiplication or division has been chosen, or maybe it's explaining why a certain method such as using an array or column multiplication instead, these vocabulary sets will provide that go-to language that children may need to call on. After number, language is fundamental to mathematics. To exploit these resources even further, I would consider using them to explain one's reasoning with problem solving. When one needs to distinguish between multiple steps within a problem, describe what patterns or anomalies have been noticed, appropriate vocabulary will be required. Ask questions like how, why, explain what you've noticed, is there another way to solve of this problem. And I mustn't forget our last resource, which offers definitions and handy examples across the mathematics curriculum. When there's so much to learn, it's handy to have these at your fingertips. That's it for now. We can't wait to hear how you're getting on. Do leave a review, like, or subscribe to hear more from us. Thank you.